Okay, Nick. Uh, I, listen, so I, did, I was like, I don't even know your name, but I know your name because I read the Fargo results. Mm -hmm. And you were you were third in both yep. styles in Fargo. Mm -hmm. What year are you? I'm going to be a junior. You'll be a junior, okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I know that um, my nephew's actually going to coach at Oregon State, and he's going out to Oregon, and they got a guy named Travis Whitlake. Yep. You wrestle Travis Whitlake yep. tooth and nail. Mm -hmm. Close match. Mm -hmm. So that's the only guy you lost to in the freestyle bracket. Or Greco bracket. Greco bracket. So close, close match. Yep. He mauled everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. So you're right there. Mm -hmm. That's a positive sign. Yeah. When you know that when you wrestle with a guy who's a high level guy like that, a world team member, um, what does that do for your confidence? Uh, that improved my confidence greatly. I mean, I I didn't really know where I actually stood with the best guys in the nation, and if I can wrestle them like that, then I know I'm right up there with them. So that that's something that it's kind of a, a measuring stick, if you will. Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of that, like you're going to be like a 97 pounder in college. You're huge. Yeah. You're like a big guy. You just shook my hand and engulfed it. I was like, this guy's got big, huge gorilla hands. Um, right now, Dakota's a senior. You guys are teammates at Beersford High School here in South Dakota. Yep. Um, he's in the recruiting process. Yep. Clearly, you're, you're going to be, you know, after the Fargo performance. Mm -hmm. And how many times have you won the state here? I haven't won the state. You haven't won the state in South Dakota yet? So, but after your Fargo performance, it's going to start heating up for you as far as recruiting. What are you looking for? when you? Because you're, you're going to be in that process now. Yep. It's coming. Whether you like it or not. People are going to start calling. I'm sure that emails or there's some type of contacts already occurred. But what are you looking for in a school, and, and you know, like what what do you think you can be as a future upper way? I don't know. I'm school. I'm looking to go D1. That's been my goal forever, and now it's achievable. So I want to go D1. And uh, I don't. As far as school, I'm not very picky right now. I haven't gone too in depth on what I want. So I guess whoever whatever works. I guess. Student, you know, Dakota's a really good student. Mm -hmm. Believe I don't know if you can believe that or not. The guy's a really good student. You know, he can get into the academies. He can go to pretty good schools. A good, he's a, you know, he's a good student. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as being a student, how important has that been for you? Are you someone who's kind of pushed it off? Now you're going to be pushing hard to be get be a good student for the last two years. What what has the, the student athlete experience been? For you? Um, my GPA is a three point six eight right now. So, so you're I've, a pretty good student. Yeah, I've been yeah I've been focusing on my grades forever. My parents have really stressed that that because if wrestling falls through, then you have something to go back on. Grades. Man, you guys are really smart. <laughs> Someone like taught you guys like real. That's that's good stuff. Uh, have you taken any of the tests yet? Basically? I have not. So that's going to in the fall. In the fall. So you know that that obviously can, is contingent upon like colleges, clearinghouse. They seem like they educate you here at Legends of Gold. Yeah. Well, T <laughs> tell me about the education process here at Legends of Gold as far as now you're starting the recruiting process. Clearly you're a national caliber guy. You're third in freestyle, third in Greco. What have they educated you as far as growing in, as a technician, an athlete, a student? What have they done for you? Um, well, student-wise, they've... I've coached back at stress and everybody really around me has stressed that that's, that's going to be what helps you because uh, schools really look for that. Schools want the kids who are smarter the, and it just helps you all around. It helps you be a better person. If, yeah. um, athlete wise, uh, I don't know, Legends has helped me immensely. I, I mean, I struggled walking on my own when I first came to the game. Came I think that it has to be an exaggeration. <laughs> it is a little bit. But okay. <laughs> but you're like a big, huge guy. Would you grow real fast and then your coordination would have to catch up? Is that like something that seems like... Kind of. Um, I don't know. I was just really unathletic when I was smaller. And wrestling has helped me a lot with that. And I have grown a lot and I've gotten a lot bigger just from lifting out here and wrestling. It's helped me a lot. Looking at the future of college wrestling, do you think 184, 197, do you even have any clue what weight you're going to go? Like Dakota knows he's going to go 141, that's the goal. What would be a goal for you as college weight? Uh, it's, yeah, either 84 or 97, I'd probably start off at 84 is where I would like to go. You guys got a lot of corn around here. Mm -hmm. What happens if you get super corn fed and you just start going heavyweight? Well, then I guess. <laughs> Got to prepare to go heavyweight then, I guess. You got a good skill set though. I was watching. You got a lot of offense. You attack. You're not afraid to attack. Mm -hmm. That gives a lot of heavyweights fits. Yeah. Is that something where a guy calls you? You're 220 pounds next year by the time you're a senior. Mm -hmm. Is that something that could happen or not? Yeah. I mean, that I wouldn't be opposed to it. I like to just wrestle whatever I feel would benefit me the most. 
Did you cut a lot of weight for Fargo? For Fargo, 70, I cut a decent amount of weight, like 15, 20 pounds. Right and then there. you went up to 82? Then I went up to 82. For, okay. For, for so, so you were cutting some weight? Yeah. What do you weigh now? Uh, about 190. 190? Yeah. So that 220 threshold is not, I'm not like yeah, it's, it's not taking true. crazy pills yeah. here, it could happen. Yeah. Um, this facility, when you got, your beer is for through and through. Mm -hmm. a, lot, so a lot of these other guys, they come, they've come in. Mm -hmm. um, you, know, you got guys who open and roll, got, you know, I think Dakota moved from West Fargo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those guys have come from hours away or half hour away or whatever. Yeah. Being a guy who's born through and through from here, local, local yokel, as I say. Um, what's it been like to see this place grow? You heard it was coming, first off, probably as a middle schooler or an elementary kid, and then to see what it's grown into. What has what that experience been like? Well, it's awesome just to know, like, we're the best, pretty much the best training area in the whole area. So I know that when I come out here, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the best competition, the best practice partners to train with. And it's been awesome to see it grow from just the, half a mat down in the weight room to uh, three and a half, four mat wrestling room. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, you have not won South Dakota yet. What, what's going on there? Talk to me. Uh, this year, I went into state undefeated, and then I got headlock first round. And so then I got third this year. Um, and then it's just been, I don't know, I, the from two years ago to this last year, there's been a big jump. I got six last year I lost in the semis and then just kind of slid to six and so it's I don't know I really guess I matured and decided I want this is what I want to do I want to be good so so now making the big jump on the national scene you'll probably see some national rankings mm -hmm. is there any doubt you can't win South Dakota this year I feel I'm very confident that I can win yeah. all right you got anything else for me all right, you guys are actually, you know what, Coach Peck, he said these guys are rougher on the edges a little bit, but I, I'm impressed with everything so far. Uh, good luck. Hopefully we can see a first state title out of you. Thank you. And keep growing.